The Packers gifted the Lions Brian Branch. And they asked for nothing. That trade blew my fucking mind. <laughs> By the way, Brian Branch... Oh, so excited that he's a Detroit Lion. Because this is somebody that we mocked for a while in the first round. We, we knew he was a first round pick. One of the best safeties. The best safety in the draft. And, and there he is. He's available. Lions go up and get their guy. And, and I love it. Because we talk about this all the time. CJ on a one-year deal. Like, uh, again, Tracy Walker coming off an Achilles injury. Brian Branch played most of his, his playing career at Alabama in the nickel. He can play multiple positions. But again, like, he's a football player. And those are the type of guys that Brad and Dan have been pursuing this entire time. He's a perfect fit. I won't lie to you guys, okay? I was frustrated last night, okay? And I wasn't frustrated for the reasons you think. I was genuinely happy to be as frustrated as I was and I know there's been a lot of talk for months now leading into the draft but you know one of the the common things I think you and I would have a conversation about was hey this year is different than last year last year was so easy to predict and expect what the Lions could or should do that every pick they made in the draft you were like yeah cool love it Brad Holmes, let him cook, right? That's the that's the mantra around around town to, uh, today. And then this year, from Jameer Gibbs to Sam Laporta, for fuck's sake, the only one that made sense at the time they took him was Brian Branch and Hendon Hooker. <laughs> like that's how unfucking predictable the Lions front office were this year. And you know what? I can be frustrated. I mean, it's fine, but that's actually a good thing. Mm -hmm. I don't see that as a bad thing. Now, we want to get to the picks. The picks are what they are, man. They are what they are. Doesn't matter what I wanted, even though I really like the players they got, and right. three of them I really like, I really, really like, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you wanted. It doesn't matter what Jeff wanted. It doesn't matter anymore. The players and the picks are what they are. All right? So now let's look at this football team because nothing is going to change. The players that they took, they're here. Mm -hmm. Embrace it. Let's move forward, okay? They are what they are. I'll tell you what I'm happy with. I'm happy with Jack Campbell at 18. I defended it day one after they took him. I'm going to keep defending it. Uh, I had him as a late first-round grade. You came on with that as well later on. Yeah. Here we are. I don't mind it. Best, I, can live, I can live with the Campbell. Best linebacker to me in the draft. Perfect. Yeah. I love the Brian Branch pick, obviously. You know I do, The too. value where they got him i'd love to see the medical i want to understand why arguably the best safety in the draft fell to the second round there had to be something but at the end of the day that is the leader of a nick saban coach defense mm -hmm. i think he provides a ton of value for the lions day one day one you don't have to wait for brian branch to contribute and then of course hendon hooker i love the pick and i love the pick because it's insurance if you never get into a car wreck, great. <laughs> you don't have to use it. And if you total your car, that's what insurance is for. I have no problem with Hendon Hooker. Let him rest. Let him learn the playbook. Let him get acclimated. He's an adult, 25 years old. I spent a third round pick on him. Zero risk involved. Zero risk involved. Right. And that is my future expected backup to Jared Goff. Whether or not they extend Goff. This is all talk we have all the rest of our lives to do. It doesn't matter. Overall, I like the pick. And then there's Gibbs and Laporta. Okay? <laughs> I just got to be honest. You, you want me to lie? You want me to sit up here and lie to you? I, I can't do that. No. No. I still have a hard time digesting Gibbs at 12. Okay? Okay. That doesn't mean I haven't accepted it. It's just, it's tough. How I feel about first-round running backs, what the data tells me, the money involved, the second contract's never working out for these backs. I'm going to forget all that, okay? And I'm going to play along with all of you this morning in the game of, I actually think he's a really good running back. Mm -hmm. I think he adds a lot of a lot of dynamic, explosive plays to this offense, especially in the pass-catching uh, area of his game. If it is Alvin Kamara 2.0, no one's going to be happier. Right. Okay, but I heard Alvin Kamara 2.0 with Swift. That's a whole different headache. But there's nothing I can do. They took him at 12. What the fuck am I going to do? Sit here and bitch and complain? There's nothing I can do. So all I can do is look at the football player and what do I expect from him? 
Well, I expect him to be a really damn good football player. Clearly, because Brad Holmes valued him so much that he was a second running back off the board as early as 12. In a year where we expected secondary player after secondary player after edge rusher to go anywhere from 8 to 17, no doubts. Okay. And then Sam Laporta. I didn't hate it. I didn't. I didn't love it. The whole Iowa connection. I know Neil Rule's going to lose his shit. But the kid's a good tight end. Yeah. and The kid can do a lot of different things. The Lions are notorious for two tight end sets. This is not the end of the world. This doesn't devalue their offense. Uh, they upgraded. They did. They upgraded at tight end. And I'd be a liar if I said they didn't. Mm-hmm. 